Hello everyone, this is my channel Tally Learn World. In today's video, we will discuss about how to split the company in various methods. There are three methods from where we can do splitting of the company can be done. The first and foremost thing, if your companies are not finalized, the first best method what we can do to just change the period from gateway of tally. As you can see, the company which I have opened, that is Vijay Sales Corporation, the company has been started on 1st April 2020 to 31st March 2021. So if you want to further continuation of this company, you can just press Alt F2 change period. So if you want to just change the period of the company, you can just press Alt F2 and you can leave till further next year till 31st June 2022 or 2021 that's our company as you can see I'll be here 31st three 2022 so I can record a transaction for next financial year by pressing simply gateway of tally voucher by pressing F2 I can just change the date by 1 4 2021 this is the first method of changing the period in case of if you don't want to split the company if you want to maintain the company but different financial years you can go with this method this is the first method in tally the other method is how do we split the company that is from the gateway of tally ensure that there are four requirements are there before we are proceeding with the splitting of the company data the first method is we have to ensure there is a tag C backup should be there and the second thing all your purchases and sales bills has to be cleared and the third thing there should not be any kind of pending order should be there and there should not have any kind of your unadjusted forex gain and loss should be there so before we split the company data these four things should be cleared from your previous company so as you want to split the company data to split the company data will go to gateway of tally will press alt y so here we have option called split under split we will first verify the data as you can see the company name vijay sales corporation is being displayed so i'll just press accept to verify my company so there were no errors in my company so let me go back to split the company data again i'll press alt y split split data as you want to give the applicable date as 1st april 2021 so once i press accept the company will ask you do you want to continue to split the company data i'll make this option yes as you can see the company splitting verification it's got in progress so you can see the first company which I have created that is Vijay Sales Corporation that is my original data and the second company which was there that is relating to my first child company the second company which I have already got splitted that is the second child company for the new financial year from 1st April 2021 to 31st March 2020 so there is one more method of export and import so before I proceed that I'll want to shut all the previous companies so I'll proceed with the other procedure so as you can see the first company which I have already loaded the same company I have already loaded so if you want to export the masters and transaction ensure you try to create a new company to create a company, we'll just go 
CEO by pressing Alt F3, the list of companies are coming. I'll try to create a company, Vijay Sales Corporation, that is from 1st April 2021. I'll just give this as a state I'll be selecting. I'll press Ctrl A. The company got successfully opened. I'll just press Ctrl A. So to export the masters from the previous company, I'll select the previous company that is just Vijay Sales Corporation. From this company, I'll just go to from any screen, I'll press Alt E. Once I press Alt E, the bar is showing me here navigate company data. Under that, we have the option called master. Once I go with the master, there is an option it's showing as send. Before we send, we need to click on configure. Select the type of master as all masters. Then I don't want it to export any of my closing balance. If you want it to export your closing balance as opening, there is an option export closing balance as opening. So I don't want it to export. I want it to export in my local drive. So I'll just select here the path by going to select from drive desktop. I'll select the path. Called data. So I'm trying to export this company masters over there. Once after selecting the correct selection of your data path, I'll click on send. So it got sent successfully. Now I'll just minimize this. I wanted to send the transactions as well. To export transaction, I'll press Alt E. I'll go to transaction again. I will click on configure as I wanted to export the entire transactions of the, my previous company here. So if you wanted to configure the path, you can just configure by going to your select from drive, desktop and data. I'll select the path and try to send this path by clicking on send. Note if you wanted to export the masters and transactions in the same location. No need to change all the time. You can just press Alt E. You have option called configure. You can configure the path of data exports over here. So now I have exported the masters as well as transaction in this company. So I'll go to the new select the company that is Vijay Sales Corporation. As you can see, there are no masters existing in this company except cash and profit and loss account and there is no vouchers in my playbook. Before I import, there is a shorting, there is a setting which we can do. I'll go to Alt O. So there is option configuration. So ignore errors during import and overwrite vouchers when the voucher with the same GUID exists. So once after expo enabling the option, I wanted to import, I'll just press Alt O, I'll select master and select from drive from the desktop. I'll just select the data. As you can see, my master.xml file is being displayed. So I'll select the master.xml file and there are three behaviors. Combine opening balance. This has to be selected when you have existing company and ignore duplicates. These two options behaviors will be used when you have existing data. Modify with new data has to be selected when you are going to import in new company. So as you guys can see, this is a new company. So I'll be going to select modify with new data. So the master started got imported. Now to import the transactions, again I'll go to Alto, I'll click on configuration as every time I don't want it to select the path, so I'll try to fix the path in the configuration. 
and I'll select a select from drive desktop data. I'll select the path and I'll press Ctrl A. To import the transaction, again I'll go to Gateway of Tally or from any screen Alt O transaction. So here directly it's taking to the proper path. So I'll select here transaction.xml. As you can see, the transactions are getting imported. So once the company got transactions got successfully imported, you can just go to display table and see your details. So as you can see, the transactions for this particular company it's been displayed. Thank you for watching the video. Kindly like, comment and share my videos. For more videos, subscribe to my channel Tally Learning World and press the bell icon for new updates and new videos.